everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make this kakan bracelet. That means flower blossom in Japanese. I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure, but this is not my own original design and it is a hook only bracelet. This was designed by a account on Instagram called Loom Dust. I will put her username in the, the, in the description box below, so make sure you check her account out. And with that further ado, let's get started. So what you would need for this bracelet is a hook. I am using a metal tip hook. You will also need a C-clip. I am using bends in the color of navy blue jelly, electric purple, which is jelly as well, and also silver. So with that further ado, let's get started. So first off, I'm going to be grabbing my cap band cut and just twist that on so that it has two loops or forms a figure eight shape. I'm gonna get the same color again, grab that cap band onto that single chain band. It should look something like that. Now, I'm gonna grab a navy blue colored band for the linking color and just put that like that. And you're not going to be putting this, grabbing this loop back onto the hook. Before you do that, you're going to grab another cap band colour, just like that, and then put that navy blue jelly back onto the hook, so that you have a cap band between the single chain band, just like that. And sorry if you hear background noises by the way. Now you are going to be grabbing, sorry again, so you're going to Grab that first loop, which is my navy blue jelly, and just pull that onto that band. And my electric purple is going to be my main colour, if you didn't know. So now, I'm going to turn your bracelets around just like that I'm going to grab another one of that electric purple and pull that navy blue jelly onto that purple just like that it may look a bit weird at first but when you continue the hooking process it will be completely fine so now I'm going to grab another one of that purple band and if your cap band is split up like this so one side of the cap band should be on the left and one should be on the right so I'm going to grab the first three loops just like that and now you're going to flip it around Just like that. Oops. Just fix that up. And then you're just gonna grab another after fix that cap band. Up. Oh. And just grab the first three loops onto that band like we did before. Just like that. May look strange at first. I'm not sure if you if loom dust did it like this at the first go but this is how i do it but anyways you're gonna grab your linking color just like that now you're going to be grabbing a electric purple band just like that and you're gonna place a cap band between the loops so I'm just gonna take my first loop off and then just get that cap band and put that electric purple glow band back onto the hook she looks something like this now I'm gonna grab 
another navy blue colored band and just pull it between through all those loops and then when you get all those loops onto that band you're just gonna take those that cap band back on to the hook should look something like this and this is the real hooking process the first one was the beginning but this is the real hooking process so you're gonna grab the first loop which is my navy blue band and just pull that onto that electric purple band now you are just going to be taking all those bands off and turn it around do the same oops do the same that you did on the other side so it looks something like this and you're going to split that cap band so that each side has three loops you're going to grab another electric purple band and just grab those three loops onto that band just like that turn my hook around grab another electric purple band and just grab the first three loops back on so it should look something like this and don't worry if you're navy blue coloured band or whatever colour is replacing that navy blue jelly is out of shape like it's not even on the other two sides just fix it up by just pulling it outwards just like that but anyways I'm gonna show you guys one more time I'm gonna grab a navy blue jelly and pull it through all those loops just like that grab another Electric purple, pull that on, and before you pull that loop on, you're gonna grab a silver and grab and whoops, this is really confusing me. <laughs> you're gonna place a cap band on and put that electric purple band back on like that. I'm going to grab another one of the navy blue jelly again and pull that. Oops. Pull that on and before you pull the other loop of the navy blue jelly you're going to grab those cap bands back onto the hook. So it should look something like that now. Grab one of your electric purple and just pull the first loop back on. And now I'm going to be turning your hook, your bracelet around, and do the same thing but on the other side. Just like that. And now you're going to split the two cap bands so that each side has three loops. Grab two more of your electric purple band and just pull the first three loops on. Just like that. Turn your bracelet around. and do the same thing just like that and sorry if you hear that squeaky noise it's my chair so that's basically the whole hooking process and every time when you finish one part of the blossom the flower blossom you're just gonna Pull a, get a band and pull those loops on, just like that. So you should have something like this, and you're gonna keep continuing that pattern. You are not going to be continuing the first part, but you are going to be continuing the second and the third part. They're basically the same. 
So if you're making this right, it should look something like this again. And yeah, so I'm gonna come back and I'll show you guys how to finish off the bracelet. So when you finish the bracelet, it should look something like this. And I ended up it off with two single chains instead because it is a little small for my wrist. But anyways, you're gonna grab your C-clip now and just clip your C-clip onto the single chain. Just like that. Now you're gonna do grab your cap end and just clip it to the cap end and then your bracelet is done. So thank you all so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and also don't forget to check out Loom Dust's account on Instagram because she has really high quality pics and her designs are awesome so make sure you do that and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!